Hey everyone, welcome to Wishing Well Barbecue. I'm Dustin Wells, and today I'm gonna show you how to make General Tso's country style ribs. Let's do it. Chinese and Asian food is my number one comfort food. And let me tell you something, if we go to a Chinese buffet together, it's gonna be a show because I'm gonna tear it up. And one of my favorite dishes to have at a Chinese restaurant is General Tso's chicken. So I wanted to find a way to incorporate that amazing General Tso's flavor into barbecue. So I developed this recipe for you today. And if you love General Tso's like me, you have to try this recipe. Now, let me show you what we've got to do to get these country style ribs ready for the smoker. I went to my local grocery store and picked up a pack of country style ribs. It's very rare that you really have to do a lot of trimming to these ribs, but if you have anything hanging off or any extra thick fat, you can trim that off with a knife. Now we're ready to season, and the first thing I'm gonna do is use some yellow mustard as a binder. You're not gonna taste this yellow mustard in the end product. It's really just to help your seasoning stick to the meat. The first seasoning I'm gonna use today is my Wishing Well Barbecue Texas Cowboy Rub. And if you don't have this, you can just use any SPG that you like, but this is really just gonna give us a nice savory flavor. And we wanna make sure that we cover all sides of these country style ribs liberally with the seasoning. Now we're gonna give it a nice coat of our Wishing Well Barbecue Competition Style Rub. And this is just gonna add a little bit of extra flavor and some color. This is exactly what I'm looking for. The meat is nice and coated with our seasoning, and now we're ready to put it on a cooking rack and get it on the smoker, so let's do it. Today, I'm cooking on my Oklahoma Joe Offset Smoker, and I'm gonna be using a combination of lump charcoal and hickory wood, and I'm gonna use my propane torch to get this fire started, and I wanna keep my temperature at about 250 degrees for this cook. While we've got the country style ribs on the smoker, let's head inside and make our General Tso's sauce. To a medium saucepan, I'm going to add three teaspoons of rice vinegar, a quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, half of a cup of chicken broth, three tablespoons of white sugar, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ginger. I like to use the ginger paste, half of a teaspoon of granulated garlic, half of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one tablespoon of cornstarch to help thicken it up, one teaspoon of chili garlic sauce, and lastly, one tablespoon of honey. Now we want to whisk this sauce together to combine all of those flavors, and we want to turn our pan to a medium heat. We want to make sure that we whisk this sauce so that we don't burn it on the bottom, and when you start to see those bubbles form, then you can cut the heat and take it off and let it cool down. Now that we've got our sauce made up, let's go outside and check on our country style ribs. All right, we've had these country style ribs on for two hours and just check those out. You can tell that we've really developed that bark. And if I give these a probe in the middle here, we're looking at about 160 degrees or so. They look great, they smell great. Now let's go ahead and wrap them up. Here I've got a sheet of aluminum foil rolled out and I'm just gonna put these country style ribs right on it. We wanna add a couple of things to this wrap to help our country style ribs get a little more flavor. And the first thing we're gonna add is about half of a stick of butter cut up into tablespoons, a good drizzle of honey, and then let's add a little bit of our homemade General So sauce to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the foil as tight as we can, and we're gonna throw them back on the smoker and let them cook until they're probe tender. All right, we've had these country style ribs on for another two hours. Let's open this up and see what they look like. Oh, these look and smell perfect. One thing I wanna do is use my Thermapro to probe around and make sure that it feels completely tender. And I tell you what, this goes through just like butter. Temperature is actually pretty high on this, but that's okay. That just means it's super tender. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the final step, which is glaze these country style ribs. We're gonna take our General So sauce and we're gonna spread it all over the ribs and let them sit on the smoker for about 20 minutes until they tack up. All right, we've had these glazing for about 25 minutes. Oh man, that looks perfect. We're ready to go ahead and take these off of the smoker and get them plated up. Oh man, this looks 
awesome. You know that I'm ready to take a bite, but before we do, let's talk about what we did to get here. The first thing I did was go to the grocery store and get some pork country style ribs. I used yellow mustard as a binder and seasoned them with my Wishing Well Barbecue Texas Cowboy Rub and my competition style rub. We fired up our Oklahoma Joe at 250 degrees and let these country style ribs smoke for two hours. While they were smoking, we went inside and made our own General Tso's glaze. We then came back out to the smoker and wrapped our country style ribs in foil with butter, honey, and General Tso's. After another two hours, these country style ribs were completely tender, so we took them off of the smoker and added a final glaze of that General Tso's sauce. And now here we are, and I can't wait any longer. I've got to take a bite. I'm going to be a little rude and just show you how tender this is by using my hands. Oh, it just falls apart. Hey, cheers to you. Cheers to a good cook. Let's take a bite. Whoa, the amount of flavor that that has is out of this world. That is so good. If you're like me and you're a General Tso's lover, you have got to try this recipe because it's gonna blow you away. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you like what we're doing here on the Wishing Well Barbecue channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. Make sure you also follow us on all of our other social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and go ahead and check out our merch store as well. Thank you so much again for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.